Welcome back to Immortal News. Today's episode has a different spin. As always, we're honoring the incredible lives of those who've recently left us, but we're also diving into deeper, darker waters, unraveling narratives full of mystery and controversy. It's a broad spectrum of human experience we're exploring today, a mix of inspirational, complex, and cautionary tales. If you appreciate our work and want to support us in telling these unique stories, please give this video a like. It really does mean the world to us. Now let's begin our journey. The Hidden Darkness, Unraveling the Gilgo Beach Case Rex Hoyerman, a precise architectural consultant in Manhattan, led a dual life that has left his friends, colleagues, and neighbors astounded. This past Friday, Suffolk County prosecutors pointed to Hoyerman, 59, as the alleged culprit of the infamous Gilgo Beach Mystery, a case of several unsolved disappearances in Long Island that has remained unsolved for nearly 15 years. Publicly, Hoyerman was a dedicated professional and a seemingly ordinary neighbor in Massapequa Park, but his behavior at times was somewhat intimidating, causing unease among residents. His unpredictable actions led some of his neighbors to express a lack of surprise at the allegations. Charged with three counts of serious offenses, Hoyerman has denied any wrongdoing. If convicted, his case would resemble others where individuals led seemingly normal lives while secretly engaging in criminal activities, like John Wayne Gacy, a construction contractor, and Richard Cottingham, a computer operator. Professionally, Hoyerman had clients like American Airlines and Catholic Charities, with many appreciating his detailed work ethic. However, despite his professional success, his overly meticulous approach sometimes led to disagreements with those who found his behavior aloof and impersonal. Prosecutors indicated that Hoyerman maintained his ordinary work schedule even as the disappearances were occurring, shedding light on his contrasting lifestyles. His arrest marks a significant development in the Gilgo Beach mystery, a case that has puzzled investigators for more than a decade. As we cover the Long Island serial killer case, we honor the lives lost, extend our condolences to their families, and recognize their resilience amid this ongoing tragedy. Having touched on today's unique topics, let's now return to our usual focus, celebrating remarkable lives and legacies. Number 11, Michaela Jones, a visionary pro surfer and innovator in action videography. Hawaiian pro surfer Michaela Jones, a pioneer in modern surfing videography, tragically passed away on July 9, 2023, following a surfing accident in Indonesia. He was 44 years old, raised on Hawaii's North Shore, Jones, along with his siblings Daniel and Malia, was exposed to surfing from an early age. This powerful locale, known for its formidable waves, nurtured his talent and affinity for riding tubes, a skill demanding precision and courage as surfers navigate inside a breaking wave. His expertise in confronting challenging water conditions quickly made him a standout in the sport. In 2000, Jones's fascination with the ideal surfing conditions in Bali, Indonesia, led him to relocate and revolutionize the local surfing scene. His explosive photography and videography not only ignited a renaissance in Bali's surfing community, but also transformed the genre of sports photography worldwide. His innovative approach to first-person footage utilizing GoPro technology provided a unique perspective, capturing the essence of surfing like never before. Jones's daring feats and mesmerizing visuals earned him a dedicated following on social media, graced magazine covers, and raised the bar for action videography. More than a surfer, Jones was an innovator who fearlessly pushed the boundaries of his sport and art, leaving behind a transformative legacy. He is survived by his wife, Emma Brereton, and their daughter, Bella, who will continue to be inspired by his adventurous spirit and passion for the sport he so loved. Tributes to Michaela Jones Number 10, Tony Butler, the voice of football and a trailblazer in broadcasting. Tony Butler, often hailed as the pioneer of radio football phone-ins in England, passed away at the age of 88 on July 14th. Known for his distinctive and forthright broadcasting style, 
Butler shone as one of the early stars of local radio. His influential career included working at BRMB, one of the UK's first commercial stations, in the 1970s, and later at BBC Radio WM in Birmingham. Apart from being an icon in broadcasting, Butler was also a larger-than-life character, earning him a place in a routine by comedian Jasper Carrot. He achieved nationwide fame for his unique Midland accent and made an indelible impact on listeners despite initial concerns about its strength. Butler's legacy includes being an invaluable mentor to many younger broadcasters, such as Stuart Lee. Linnell, who recalls him with great fondness. His long and successful career was recognized with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Sony Radio Awards in 2007. He retired in 2012, capping a remarkable career in broadcasting that began in 1951 as a trainee reporter. Tony Butler, the man who hosted phone-ins well before the format reached national radio in the 1990s, commanded huge audiences in the 1970s when there were only a handful of radio and television channels. His familiar catchphrase, On Your Bike, will continue to resonate with listeners, reminding us of a radio legend who truly changed broadcasting in the UK and possibly the world. Tributes to Tony Butler. Number 9. Bill Reynolds, a legendary sports writer and a monumental impact on lives beyond the sports page. Bill Reynolds, one of the most influential sports writers, whose words shaped the sports world and beyond, passed away on July 13th at the age of 78. He was a basketball athlete and a columnist, but above all, he was a man whose generosity profoundly changed people's lives. Reynolds began his sports journey as one of Brown University's greatest basketball shooters. However, his most notable contribution was through his work as a writer. His words have reached from NBA stars to high school athletes, recounting compelling stories that were less about scores and more about overcoming life's tragedies and transformative experiences. His written works like Fall River Dreams were not merely about sports, but narrated stories of urban upbringing, class, poverty, and the human will to overcome. Reynolds was widely known for his 30-plus years as a sports reporter and columnist for the Providence Journal. His work went beyond the sports page, impacting the lives of many. He shone a light on struggling kids, helping them to find hope and strength. His pieces often carried the underlining message of resilience and overcoming adversity. As a writer and as an individual, Reynolds linked generations of athletes together and truly transcended the world of sports. His legacy of kindness, humility, and exceptional talent will continue to inspire many. His touch in the world of sports journalism was unique, and his words will continue to echo in the sports community and beyond. Tributes to Bill Reynolds Number 8. Cynthia Okereke, a shining star of Nollywood. Cynthia Okereke, Nollywood's one of its finest talents, passed away on July 12th at the age of 63 after a brief illness. The actress's passing was confirmed by her family, leading to an outpouring of heartfelt tributes from colleagues, friends, and fans across Nigeria and the world. Born on April 20th, 1960, in Enugu, eastern Nigeria, Okarike quickly became a household name in Nollywood, noted for her emotive performances that could draw tears from viewers. She was best known for her roles in highly celebrated films such as Osuofia in London, 2003, its sequel in 2004, Wisdom of the Gods, Chibundu, and Woman on Top, among others. Her versatility saw her star in both English and Igbo films, sharing the screen with other notable Nollywood actors such as Chinedu Ikedizi. Osita Ihemi, Nikam Owo, and Patience Ozokwo. Okareki's significant contributions to the Nigerian entertainment industry have forever etched her name in the annals of Nollywood. Even as we mourn her sudden and unceremonious departure, we celebrate the indelible mark she has left on the Nollywood landscape. 
Cynthia Okarecki's radiant spirit and unforgettable performances will continue to live on in the hearts of many. Tributes to Cynthia Okarecki. Number 7. Gustavo Badel, a pillar of strength and an inspiration to the bodybuilding community. Gustavo Badel, fondly remembered as the Freakin' Rican, has left a lasting imprint on the bodybuilding world. Sadly, he passed away on July 14th at the age of 50, with the details of his death still unknown. Badel was born in Venezuela and kick-started his bodybuilding career at 19. He later relocated to Puerto Rico in his early 20s, and climbed the ranks to compete against some of the best bodybuilders in the world. A testament to his prowess, he finished in third place twice in the prestigious Mr. Olympia competition in 2004 and 2005. Beyond Mr. Olympia, Bedell's accomplishments extended to the Arnold Classic, World Pro Championships, Ironman Pro, and the Atlantic City Pro. After retiring in 2012, he remained active in the fitness world promoting personal fitness online. He also held a significant relationship with the supplement company MuscleTech, which acknowledged his impact by noting his professional demeanor and hardworking ethos. Fidel's 2009 appearance on the company's magazine cover underlines his influential position in the fitness and bodybuilding community. Through his remarkable achievements and unwavering dedication, Fidel has left an indelible mark on bodybuilding, inspiring countless fitness enthusiasts worldwide. His strength, both physical and mental, will forever be remembered. Tributes to Gustavo Badel. Number 6. Bob Segarini, A Life Lived Loud in Music and Media. Bob Segarini, musician, broadcaster, and bona fide Can American, passed away at the age of 77 on July 10th. Segarini left a significant mark in the music industry, co writing songs with notable talents like Harry Nilsson and leading several bands, including The Family Tree, Roxy, The Whackers, and The Dudes. His charisma and audacity led him to unique experiences, from playful encounters with the monkeys to rejecting an offer from the Grateful Dead. Segarini's talents weren't confined to music, his charismatic personality shone through in the world of broadcasting. He hosted shows on Chum FM and Q107, as well as on Sirius XM Canada's Iceberg Channel, where his wit, humor, and propensity for the unexpected captivated audiences. His work in podcasting, particularly the monthly Bobcast, showcased his conversational charm, cementing his place as a pioneer of the medium. As a passionate contributor to his blog, Don't Believe a Word I Say, he demonstrated a love for creating content that connected with readers on various topics. But it was perhaps Segarini's love for his family and his enthusiasm for life, illustrated by his ceaseless exploration of new music and his infamous corned beef cravings that paint the most vibrant picture of the man. As we bid him farewell, we reflect on a life lived with unending talent, infinite ideas, and a wit as quick as a supersonic jet. Tributes to Bob Segarini. Number 5. Evelyn Boyd Granville, a pioneering mathematician and advocate for women in technology. Evelyn Boyd Granville, one of the most influential mathematicians of her time, passed away on June 27 at the age of 99 in her apartment in Silver Spring, Maryland. She was the second African-American woman to receive a Ph.D. in mathematics from an American university, Yale University, in 1949. Throughout her career, Granville worked in academia, private industry, and the space program, overcoming racial and gender barriers to succeed in a predominantly male field. She taught at Fisk University, worked at IBM and for the Apollo program, and held positions at California State University, Los Angeles Texas College, and the University of Texas at Tyler. 
Granville faced discrimination but was never deterred, remaining a strong advocate for women's education in technology. Her groundbreaking work in the field of computing and her efforts to improve elementary school math enrichment programs continued to inspire and pave the way for future generations of women and people of color in mathematics and technology. Among her many accolades, Granville was awarded an honorary doctorate by Smith College in 1989, the first for an African-American woman mathematician by an American institution. She was inducted into the National Academy of Sciences Portrait Collection of African Americans in Science in 1999 and recognized as a Black History Month honoree by Mathematically Gifted and Black in 2019. Tributes to Evelyn Boyd Granville Number 4. Marga Minko, a powerful voice against the silence of the Holocaust. Marga Minko, a prominent Dutch journalist and writer known for her stirring depictions of the Holocaust, passed away on July 10th at the age of 103. Minko's early career in journalism was abruptly cut short by the German invasion of the Netherlands in 1940. She was forced into hiding during the war, the sole survivor from her family. Minko's works, which reflect her own harrowing experiences, often revolve around Holocaust survivors who view their lives as meaningless, having outlived their loved ones by sheer coincidence. Her first book, Het Bittere Kruid, The Bitter Herb, published in 1957, was an autobiographical novella reflecting her own experiences during the war. Other notable works include In League Huis means An Empty House and the collection of short stories. De Andere Kant means the other side. Over her long and illustrious career, Minko received multiple recognitions, including the Bureau Vor Postreclame on Adressen de Mutator, NV Short Story Prize for Het Address in 1957, the Viverberg Prize for Het Bittere Kruid in 1958, and the Constantine Huygens Prize for her entire oeuvre in 2005. In 2019, she was honored with the PC Hooft Award, a prestigious Dutch literary recognition for her entire oeuvre. Her legacy continues to inspire and remind us of the harsh realities of the Holocaust and the critical importance of not letting such atrocities be forgotten. Tributes to Marga Minko. Number 3. Robin Tamang, a resounding voice and vibrant presence in Nepal's music and film scene. Nepali singer and actor Robin Tamang, celebrated for his dynamic stage presence and compelling performances in music and cinema, passed away on July 5th at the age of 60. Tamang was the youngest of five siblings, born in Singapore to a British Army officer. He moved to Nepal in 1996, bringing a fresh wave of energy to the country's artistic scene. As the charismatic frontman of the rock band Robin and the New Revolution, Tamang gained fame with hits like Dam Maro Dam, Keta Keti, and Bulma Bulio. Loved by the younger generation, he left an indelible mark on the landscape of Nepali music. Tamang expanded his artistic canvas to include acting, playing the role of Chewang in the 2013 film Chadke. This role was a turning point in his career leading him to act in numerous Nepali feature films such as Chiso Astray, Mukuda, Naka, and Chadkatu. Despite his passing, Robin Tamang's vivacious spirit continues to reverberate through his music and performances. His fans, fellow musicians, and filmmakers have taken to social media to express their grief, reminiscing about his youthful energy and enduring charm. Tamang will remain forever young. His legacy stands as an embodiment of passion, dedication, and the power of artistic expression in transforming culture and influencing generations. Tributes to Robin Tamang. Now it's time to remember the legends who passed away in the past years. Number 2. Travel Mazian, 
a rising star in boxing silenced too soon. Travel Mazion, an unbeaten American boxer known for his charisma and talent, tragically passed away on July 15, 2020, at the young age of 24. Known as Black Magic in the ring, Mazion was involved in a fatal car crash in Austin, Texas, resulting in his untimely demise. Mazion's promising career in boxing was marked by a stellar record, winning all 17 of his professional fights, 13 of which were by knockout. His incredible 58-second knockout of Mexican fighter Fernando Castaneda in January 2020 had earned him the vacant WBC NABF super welterweight title. Beyond his boxing accomplishments, Mezian was known for his kindness, charm, and the ability to light up every room he walked into. Promoter Oscar De La Hoya expressed his disbelief and mourning over Mazian's loss, remembering him as a nice young man with all the talent in the world. The world of boxing and beyond has indeed suffered a significant loss with Mazian's passing. His promising career cut short leaves a void that reminds us of a shining star extinguished far too soon. Tributes to Travel Mazian Number 1. Martin Landau, an illustrious career spanning decades in film and television. Martin Landau, the versatile actor known for his roles in the TV series Mission Impossible and the film Ed Wood, passed away on July 15, 2017, in Los Angeles at the age of 89. His captivating performances and deep commitment to his craft left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Landau began his career in the 1950s achieving success on stage and television before making a mark in films. He starred as Rollin Hand in Mission Impossible from 1966 to 1969, alongside his then-wife, Barbara Bain. His portrayal of diverse characters week after week highlighted his remarkable range as an actor. Despite experiencing some professional lows, Landau's career rebounded in the late 1980s, with pivotal roles in films such as Francis Ford Coppola's Tucker the Man in His Dream, and Woody Allen's Crimes and Misdemeanors, earning him Academy Award nominations. His Oscar-winning performance came in 1995 for his portrayal of Bela Lugosi in Tim Burton's Ed Wood, for which he also won a Golden Globe and numerous other critics' awards. Beyond his film and television roles, Landau was an alumnus of the Actor Studio in New York and a mentor to actors like Jack Nicholson. His rich legacy, his undying passion for acting, and his inspiring resurgence in the face of adversity serve as an example for future generations of performers. Tributes to Martin Landau. We kindly ask you to honor the lives of these remarkable individuals by showing your support and appreciation. Please like this video and continue watching as we pay respect to the legacies they've left behind.